I'd like to introduce Waymo's CEO, John Kraftcheck. Hey everybody. Thanks, um, thanks to all of you for joining us today. You know, we've been driving in Phoenix as part of our early rider program for nearly a year now. And during that time, I've had a chance to talk to some of Waymo's early riders about their experience. Now, many of their stories are really inspiring. One of our early riders, Neha, told us about how she witnessed a tragic accident when she was a young teen, which scared her into never getting a driver's license. But now she takes Waymo to work every day. And there's Jim and Barbara, who no longer have to worry about losing their ability to get around as they grow older. Then there's the Jackson family. Waymo helps them all navigate their jam-packed schedules, taking Kyla and Joseph to the school, practices, and meetups with friends. And when we talk about building the world's most experienced driver, these are the people we're building it for. Self-driving cars are already transforming the way they live and move. But they're not the only ones who stand to benefit from this technology. Now, many of you know these powerful statistics. 94% of all crashes are due to human error. 42 hours are wasted sitting in traffic per person per year in the US. That's an entire working week every year. And millions more people aren't able to drive because they're elderly or living with a disability. And self-driving cars have the potential to change all of that for all of us. Now, since we began as part of Google nearly a decade ago, our goal has been to bring this technology to everyone, everywhere. That's why we're building businesses in ride hailing, in logistics, personal use, and connecting people to public transportation. Now the first step toward this future is developing and deploying self-driving technology that's safe and reliable. And Waymo is doing that today. In October 2017, Waymo became the first and only company in the world to put a fleet of truly autonomous cars on public roads without anyone in the driver's seat. This was a momentous occasion for our team. But even more exciting than that was putting some of those early riders in our first fully autonomous cars for their first ride. Let's have a look. OK, day one of self-driving. Are you ready? <laughs> Oh. oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is the future. <laughs> yeah, she was like, is there no one driving that car? <laughs> I knew it. I was waiting for it. You certainly never know that there wasn't someone driving this car. <laughs> Yo, car! Thank you, car. <laughs> yeah, thank you, car. So it's that kind of delight, that kind of trust that you saw in their faces that we want to bring to everyone, everywhere, when we launch the world's first driverless transportation service. Now, we're going to launch our service, not in 2019 or 2020 or sometime after that, but this year, this year in 2018, starting in Phoenix, Arizona. There, members of the public will be able to take these fully self-driving cars anywhere within our service area, to work, to school, to the grocery store, anywhere they'd go with a typical car. And that's just the beginning. We're looking toward the future, where we can bring this safe, delightful, self-driving service to millions of people across the country. Which brings me to why we're all here today. Now, ever since Waymo became its own independent company, we've shifted our focus from research and development to operations and deployment. And that means putting everything we need in place to expand and scale quickly. Now, with Waymo, our ultimate goal is to provide a self-driving vehicle tailored to every trip and to every purpose. And we can do this because we're building the driver. And this same driver can be adapted for all kinds of vehicles. Now, to date, we've outfitted our technology on five entirely different form factors. A small car, an SUV, our own little Firefly prototype, a minivan, even a Class 8 Peterbilt 
semi. Well, now we're adding a sixth. I'd like to introduce to you all the world's first premium electric fully self-driving car. There it is. This is the self-driving car that car lovers have been looking for. Waymo and Jaguar Land Rover have entered into a new long-term partnership. To start, we're going to design and engineer a self-driving Jaguar I-PACE equipped with Waymo technology. This is a production-ready vehicle with self-driving technology that's ready today. These vehicles will start testing this year and will become part of Waymo's driverless transportation service. Now with this partnership, we can add up to 20,000 I-PACES to Waymo's fleet in the first two years of production. Now to put that into some perspective for you, those 20,000 self-driving vehicles can serve about a million trips in a single day. And though these cars are new, they're building on nearly a decade of self-driving experience First is Google, and now is Waymo. They'll be equipped with Waymo's technology, the world's most experienced driver, with the most powerful sensors and AI software in the world. Now, this technology has gone through what we consider to be the world's toughest and longest ongoing driving test. Waymo's cars have driven more than five million autonomous miles on public roads in 25 different American cities. That's nearly 500 trips to, oh, let's say, Coventry, England, and back, assuming they build that bridge across the Atlantic we keep asking for. What's more, thanks to our software, every lesson from every mile in every car is shared with the entire fleet. We've also built a virtual world where our cars can amplify these real-world miles, giving us even more experience. In our simulator, we have the equivalent of 25,000 cars driving every hour of every day. And to date, we have completed about 5 billion miles in simulation. Finally, we prepare our cars for rare or challenging situations at our private test facility. Think of it like a mock city where we've created 20,000 individual test scenarios for our cars to practice. Now, all of this experience will power the new self-driving iPaces that will become an integral part of Waymo's service. So when, when people use Waymo's service, they'll have access to a broad selection of vehicles tailored to their trip. They can choose a minivan if they're traveling to soccer practice with the family, or if two people are running a quick errand, why not take a self-driving Jaguar? We surveyed the world, and we found that I-PACE was the best next vehicle for Waymo. Its size makes it perfect for city driving, its modern electrical architecture is well-suited for our technology. The all-new platform was designed with the world's latest and toughest safety standards in mind. And finally, its big, fast-charge battery means it can drive all day, which is perfect for our self-driving service. The vehicle itself, we think, is graceful in the long tradition of Jaguar. So combined with our self-driving technology, it will provide a safe and delightful experience for our passengers. And as part of a shared self-driving service, we can make this premium experience accessible to everyone. Jaguar Land Rover is an excellent partner for Waymo. They're dedicated to safety, they have a crack engineering team, and they share our vision of a future where roads are safer and transportation is accessible for all. So we are building that bridge across the Atlantic. We're thrilled to kick off this long-term partnership and we're looking forward to exploring even more opportunities to collaborate together in the future. And with that, 
I'd like to ask my friend, Professor Dr. Ralph Speth, CEO of Jaguar Land Rover, to come on up and make a few remarks for the crowd. Good to see you. So first of all, thank you, John. And ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Jaguar and Land Rover have always delivered outstanding, authentic products with character, capability, and innovative advanced technology. And you all know that Land Rover invented the premium SUV or Jaguar the disc brake for cars. Both brands have a long track record of creating game changers. Everyone, as you know, in the automotive industry wants to create a game changer, an icon. But the truth is, truth is the opportunity to do so is very, very rare. And now, Jaguar has launched the iPACE, the first consequently designed and engineered patriotic vehicle from a premium brand. The iPACE dramatically guides us into smart, sustainable mobility and delivers grace, space, and eco pace. A product for game changers, creating unprecedented demand. Ladies and gentlemen, electrification is the technological prerequisite for autonomous drive in the future. And we are leading. And we have a clear vision of smart mobility, new levels of high quality, safe, enjoyable, entertaining, and exciting journeys, giving our customers precious, valuable time back. Time back, isn't it wonderful? But moving the required boundaries of technology cannot be done in isolation by a single company anymore. Breakthroughs, process, can only be made when governments, academia, and the industry across many sectors work closer together. So you look for partners who share your dreams, people who embrace the passion of your own ambition, who add value to your own imagination, and who are leading, who are leading in their respective fields. Which is why I am pleased, very pleased, we are announcing our innovative collaboration with Weimar today. A new type of partnership seeking to create the new. And with Weimar, the iPACE will become the first fully electric, self-driving, luxury SUV in history. Everything new. Defining a new league of cars changing every rule of the game. And it starts in the United States. And this is part of our investment in and our commitment to the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, it is said that no one can foretell the future. But we all have a choice. We can either shape the future or be shaped by it. Together, John, together, we are shaping the future in a way that we all can live in it better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have to go, I guess, to the Rio. Yeah, hey, guys. So um, thanks for listening.